good? And that refers to if the hypothesis is true, how likely is it that you will see the evidence that you are now seeing? So if a person, say, has Rocky Mountain spotted fever, chances are pretty good that he's got spots uh, and, that, and, and probably that he's been to the Rocky Mountains. You just divide that product, the prior, the likelihood, by the commonness of the data, probability of the data, which is how often do you expect to see that evidence across the board, whether the idea you're testing is true or false. If something is very common, so for example, you know, lots of things that give people, you know, headaches and back pain, you don't diagnose some exotic disease whose symptoms happen to be back pain and headaches just because so many different things can give you headaches and, and, and back pain. That goes into the denominator. If the evidence is, is uh, common, the whole fraction is going to be small, and that yanks down your posterior, that is, your degree of credence in the hypothesis after looking at, at uh, that evidence.